YouTube. This week I'm going to go over how to create and manage bookmarks in Site Catalyst 15. And as a quick side note, you will notice that the interface that we're looking at today is quite a bit different than the interface from my previous tutorials because last week Adobe launched a new redesign for Site Catalyst 15. And I will put a link in the description below to their video going over all of the different interface changes. Since they've already done that lovely video for us on YouTube, I am going to go ahead and not do one. Um, uh, they did a wonderful job, so I'm going to just go ahead and just dive into doing bookmarks. So what I what you're looking at right now is a pages report that I have done some customization to. So first of all, it's trended, so you're only looking at the top five pages, which you can see here. Uh, it is in a stacked area graph rather than the standard line graph. Um, I am looking at bounces rather than page user visits or other types of default uh, metrics that you would see in a pages report. Um, and so after doing all this customization so that I don't have to go through and do all of that again the next time I want to see this report, I can go ahead and bookmark it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead here and click bookmark. Now I can give it a name and in this case it's going to be uh, trended page, page bounces and I have it set for the last 30 days. And so basically every day that I look at this bookmark report, um, I will see just the last 30 days. So it's going to continuously move from one uh, day to the next. And you'll notice that uh, what we talked about with dashboards, where you can either have fixed or rolling dates, with the bookmarks, you don't have as many options in terms of that you can't fix your dates on this. It's basically whatever time frame you're looking at uh, when you're creating the report and bookmarking it, that's the kind of time frame you're going to see uh, going forward. So if it's the last 90 days, last quarter, last year, etc., it's always going to kind of be in a kind of a rolling fashion based on the time frame that you're looking at. All right, so um, create and add it to a folder. Um, so I can either create a new folder or put it in an existing folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to say Trended Pages Reports. So let's say I want to do a number of different trended pages reports. This is looking at bounces. I want to look at some other things. Then I can add them all into a single uh, folder that way. Then I can either make it public. Uh, this means that anyone within my organization can actually see this in their managed bookmarks list uh, of all the public bookmarks and uh, they can uh, view and uh, interact with the bookmarks through that interface, which I'll show you in a moment. And you can also choose to display the report upon login. So in the dashboards tutorial, I talked about being able to also display that upon login. So if I go ahead and choose this option today, it will actually overwrite the dashboard that I have displaying on my login. So be very careful when you're creating your bookmarks or your dashboards that you can only have one at a time, one dashboard or one bookmark, etc. And so every time you create a new dashboard or bookmark, if you choose to display that report upon login, it's going to remove the, the one that you have currently. So keep that in mind um, as, you're, as you're setting these up. I'm going to go ahead and skip these two options for right now, and I'm just going to get, click Save and it has been successfully saved. So in order to go in and manage my bookmarks now, uh, first we go over to the left-hand navigation, and uh, the new way to get to all your favorites, etc., is to click on the star, and then here you can see all your various favorites um, that used to be up along the top of the interface. So we'll click on bookmarks, and I'm gonna go ahead and just click on manage bookmarks. So this is the bookmark manager, and here you can see uh, trended bookmarks, and you'll notice that the other folder isn't in here anymore. I actually had deleted it, but for some reason in the interface it kind of got stuck in there. It was still kind of in the drop-down menu. Um, slight glitch there, but be that as it may. So I have a couple of options. I can add my bookmark to the dashboard player, uh, and just as an FYI, uh, I will be doing a, a complete tutorial on the dashboard player as a separate uh, tutorial. All right, so there, uh, that just adds it to the dashboard player if I have that enabled or installed. And, uh, and you can just turn, turn that on and off. It does collapse the folder every time you do that, though. Then I also have the option here to make public. So if I hadn't made it public previously, 
uh, this is where I can manage that and I can turn that on or I can turn it off if I had actually turned that on uh, previously and decided I didn't want that anymore. Then uh, we can go ahead and we can schedule the bookmark. So you click on that and you get this little pop-up menu and basically it's very much the same as all the other types of scheduling reports and that kind of thing and I'm actually going to probably do a complete separate tutorial on just scheduling reports in general. Uh, so I won't go into any great detail on that today. And then you have some other manage options here. You can edit or you can delete your bookmarks. So I'll go ahead and go into edit so you can see what that looks like. So you can change the name. Uh, you can uh, change the location, so with which folder it is. And you can also um, change the option based on uh, if you want to display this on your report, uh, on your login. So if you hadn't cho um, chosen to go ahead and show the bookmark uh, on your login screen previously and you decided later on that you want to, this is where you do it. And then just down here, just to kind of go through the public bookmarks. So here's all of the uh, public bookmarks that have been shared within the organization that this particular account is on. And here I have some options. So again, I can add it to my dashboard player. Um, I can make a copy. So very similar to the dashboards where if I make the copy, I actually have a copy of that dashboard that I can then interact with. I can edit, I can change, um, I, can, I can do a number of things to it uh, and manage it as if it were my own bookmark. Uh, versus on menu, which means that it will add it to my bookmarks menu for me to access, but I cannot interact with it. Uh, only the original author can interact with it and make changes to it. Um, and you notice that the icons here are a little bit different now. I think they're a little bit more clear than they were before. Um, and then, of course, you do have um, info slash edit. And um, it says now make private instead of delete. So it no longer keeps it um, public in terms of my view. I can no longer view it um, if I make it private instead of deleting it. Um, because previously I think that was a bit confusing to say delete when you weren't actually deleting it off of someone's account. Um, you're just deleting it from your own view. So in, in this case you're just making it private. Um, and that's basically everything um, that covers how to manage and create bookmarks. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any questions below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, stay tuned until uh, next, uh, the next tutorial. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you are finding these tutorials useful at all, please like the videos. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, as I have a lot more tutorials to do uh, in the coming weeks. Thank you, and take care.